Yeah, we do. But uh, I, I think that Michael Cross has seen the aggressiveness from the monster and has found a way to channel it. It seems so. They seem to be on the same page tonight, at least for now. Colton Shane, another man, recently made his return to League of Lions. He did. The race to the top battle royal. And he, he's been doing his thing here lately. Oh, that is not what you do to Michael Cross. I get you, he, he, sh he knocked you on the handshake, Colton, but you don't mess with the man's stomach like that. That's just asking for trouble, especially when it comes to Michael Cross. Colton Shane, while not always a regular with League of Lions, especially not lately, he does have a lot of history with uh, our more old timers in League of Lions. Um, having worked with them in TEW. Um. Beautiful leg drop there from Colton Shane. Colton Shane uh, has gone out and said that uh, one, of, one of the things that was his biggest goal is to win the tag titles. He's made an attempt a couple times with various tag teams. He's looking for a partner and trying again, and tonight... Hunter Maverick, uh, a rookie with League of Lions, is filling the bill. We'll see if they mesh well together. But a tough test for a brand new team together. Michael Cross, Ooh. the first ever League of Lions champion, always a challenge, and the Monster Creed. I hadn't, I, as you know, I've only been in the company here for a few years now. I did not realize that Michael Cross was the first ever League of Lions champion. Yes, sir. Wow, won you the, learn something new every day. Won the inaugural Flying Lions Invitational and won the championship. The, the championship was on the line in the first ever tournament. I remember, I didn't know that, but I did not realize, remember, he won. So, man, you learn something new every day. That just all the more respect to Michael Cross. And, oh, Hunter Maverick there with a the nice suplex. I didn't think he'd be able to get the big man up, but he got him over. Very athletic kid. Hunter Maverick. Very. I've, I've seen him a few times. I haven't gotten to watch him personally for obvious reasons. You know, I am the second tier champion here. I feel in this in this company. And he just got his start, what, three months ago? This is like his fourth match, maybe? It's something like that. And I, I got to say, I mean, his uh, winning record hasn't been the greatest in his four matches, but he has absolutely been impressive in the ring. Beautiful double flapjack. Good tag team. So Morton. far, they have good chemistry in the ring. They're working together well. Up. Oh, he took a little too long to get to Michael there. The uh, aggressive, aggressive tag, tag from Monster Creed. The Monster Creed. Creed. Monster Creed and Colton Shane familiar with each other. Very familiar from what, the, what I hear recently. Oh, the ref in the way there. He needs to move. Monster Creed is not playing around tonight. Very aggressive on the attack. And that is a big man running at you right now. That is a very big man. That is a train that does not stop when you hit it. That is not the place you want to be when the Monster Creed builds up ahead of steam. I have been there on the other end of that. It is not fun. I'm pretty sure I've forgotten 20 seconds of a match because of that move. Did he just the Monster tag Creed tagging in the rookie. Oh, himself. and the rookie got brought in the hard way. Monster Creed is not playing around tonight. I'm telling you, the aggression is on a whole nother level from the Monster Creed lately. Ooh, a little oh, a little fisher, fisherman brain buster there. Is the kid going to be able to kick out? Oh, he got the shoulder up just in time. Impressive tenacity from a rookie. That's that, that kid's got a lot of heart. I can tell you that right now. Monster Creed is not somebody to play with, and he is throwing him around like a rag doll right now. A big clothesline tore him inside out. <laughs> Michael Cross attacking Hunter Maverick in the corner as the Monster Creed backs down the ref, and who wouldn't back down in that position? I, I wouldn't. I, 
I've backed down a few times in that position from Monster Creed. That's just something you don't want to test. Well, discretion is the better part of valor at times. And because of that, I am still your reigning defending oh my God. Lion Heart champion. And my God, I heard that echo through the arena. My chest hurts. A nice That's a power slam to Rev rival Devin Wilson. That, see, it's a different type of power slam. That was a spinning power slam. And that's all about how much you throw your weight onto him. Devin's is all about throwing them. That's a straight catching power slam from Devin Wilson. The one Michael Cross just did is it definitely showed his power there for that spinning power slam there. And he planted that kid. I'm surprised he kicked out. Oh, and this does not bode well right on the ribs to the knee of Monster Creed. And that did indeed hurt. Two and three quarters, maybe, but somehow this kid managed to get his shoulder up this again. This kid is hanging on for dear life. The crowd firmly behind Hunter Maverick as well. They're trying to get him to feed off the energy, but it just doesn't look like it is working. Oh, you got Colton Shane coming in to try to stop, break it up, but the ref getting involved. The ref is firmly distracted with Colton Shane, and Shane needs to realize that he's the reason his partner is getting beat up right now, but... Great work from Monster Creed and Michael Cross taking advantage of that. If the ref isn't going to pay attention, that's not their fault. Nice little uh, toss there from Monster. Oh, we've seen this before. Oh, oh, getting hit by a Mack truck was that sliding clothesline. And he How still was Hunter Maverick kicked, kicked out. out of that? How is this stick figure of a kid compared to Monster Creed staying involved? Here we go again. It seems like Monster Creed and Michael Cross are going a little tit for tat. He said, that's how you do it. Stealing his, his sliding clothesline. Ducking the punch. Oh, a blue thunderbomb. <laughs> but or he a couldn't variation capitalize of it. on he it. He could not capitalize on it. That haymaker from Michael Cross definitely did not do him any good there. It set him up for... You have to know, priority one for Hunter Maverick has to be making a tag right now. He, he's he got to be making that tag. And right now, there's a big man between him and his partner. And Colton needs to realize that his partner's coming for the tag. He needs to get in better position. You gotta get to that tag, King. Who's gonna make the tag first? Almost simultaneous tags from Hunter Maverick and Michael Cross. Colton Shane coming in. Going after the knee of Monster Creed. Smart decision there, signing him up for. What a beautiful enziguri right to the back of the head from Colton Shane. Smart maneuver from Colton Shane going after the Monster Creed's knees. I mean. Second row moves off from Colton Shane, but Monster gets out of the way. He took too long. Oh, God. Black and a black hole slam, slam from the Monster. Creed. From the Monster. And Michael Cross taking out Hunter Maverick on the, on the side of the ring, and that's a three count that from is, Monster Creed. That is a three count from Monster Creed. Mo him and Michael Cross pick up the win. Great teamwork there. The black hole slam from Creed to take out Colton. And Michael Cross hold, holding down Hunter Maverick to stop him from being able to break up the pant. And the cheap shot there from Monster Creed on the end on Colton Shane. 